Topic 1. Hobby Hey, how have you been spending your free time lately? Well, I have been exploring a new hobby, painting. It's been a great way to relax and unleash my creativity. How about you? That's wonderful. I've been getting into photography. I find joy in capturing beautiful moments and scenes. It's become a passion of mine. That's fantastic. What kind of subjects do you enjoy photographing the most? I love taking nature shots, especially landscapes and wildlife. There's something magical about capturing the beauty of the natural world. Have you considered showcasing your photographs or entering any contests? Actually, yes. I recently participated in a local photography contest and was thrilled to receive an honorable mention. It has motivated me to continue pursuing my passion. That's incredible. Congratulations on the recognition. It's always fulfilling when others appreciate your work. Keep it up. Thank you. It's definitely encouraging. You're welcome. So, besides painting, do you have any other hobbies or interests? Absolutely. I also enjoy reading. It's a fantastic way to expand my knowledge and immerse myself in different worlds. Great. Reading is like a journey that transports us to new places and perspectives. Do you have any favorite authors or genres? I'm a fan of fantasy and science fiction. Authors like J.R.R. Tolkien and Isaac Asimov have captivated my imagination with their storytelling. How about you? I have a soft spot for classic literature. Authors like Jane Austen and F. Scott Fitzgerald have a way of capturing human emotions and painting vivid portraits of their time. That's wonderful. Classic literature provides valuable insights into different eras and the complexities of human nature. It's great to see your appreciation for it. Thank you. It's always fascinating to dive into those timeless works. By the way, have you ever thought of joining a book club or attending literary events? I've been contemplating joining a local book club to discuss and share my love for literature. It would be a great way to connect with fellow bookworms. That's an excellent idea. Book clubs offer a unique opportunity to engage in enriching discussions and discover new perspectives. Let me know if you find one, and maybe I'll join too. Definitely. I'll keep you informed. It would be fantastic to have you in the club. Topic 2 Travel and vacation. Have you been on any vacations recently? Yes, I went to Bali. It was amazing. That sounds incredible. What was your favorite part? The beaches and the local cuisine were definitely highlights. I've always wanted to visit Bali. Any recommendations? Don't miss the rice terraces in Ubud and the beautiful temples. Thanks for the tips. Do you have any upcoming travel plans? I'm thinking about going to Japan next. Kyoto is on my list. Japan is fantastic. Don't miss Tokyo and the authentic sushi. I will keep that in mind. Do you prefer adventurous trips or relaxation? I like a mix of both. How about you? Same here. It's great to have a balance. Have you ever traveled solo? I haven't, but I'm considering it. It seems like a great experience. It definitely is. Let me know if you need any tips. 
Traveling is so enriching. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Traveling broadens our horizons. Absolutely. It's always exciting to explore new places and cultures. Well, it's been great chatting about travel. Cheers to more adventures. Cheers. Here's to unforgettable journeys and new experiences. Topic 3. Favorite Smartphone Hey, what's your favorite smartphone? I'm a big fan of the iPhone. The sleek design and user-friendly interface are hard to beat. How about you? I'm actually an Android enthusiast. I love the wide range of customization options and the versatility of Android phones. That's interesting. Android does offer a lot of flexibility. Any specific Android phone that stands out for you? I've been really impressed with the latest Samsung Galaxy model. The display quality and camera capabilities are top-notch. Samsung Galaxy phones are indeed impressive. I've heard great things about their camera technology. Have you tried any other brands? Yes, I've also had a positive experience with Google Pixel phones. The camera performance and software integration are excellent. I have heard great things about the Google Pixel cameras too. It's nice to see different brands excelling in different aspects. Are there any features or specifications you prioritize when choosing a smartphone? Battery life and camera quality are important factors for me. I rely on my phone throughout the day, and I enjoy capturing memories with high-quality photos. Those are definitely key considerations. A long-lasting battery is essential, especially for heavy phone users. Do you have any favorite smartphone apps or features that you can't live without? I rely heavily on productivity apps like note-taking and task management tools. They help me stay organized and productive. Additionally, I enjoy using photography and editing apps to enhance my photos. Productivity apps are a game-changer for staying organized. I also find social media and messaging apps to be essential for staying connected with friends and family. It's fascinating how smartphones have become integral to our daily lives. Absolutely. They have become a central hub for communication, entertainment, and productivity. It's incredible how much technology has evolved in such a short time. Indeed, the advancements have been remarkable. It's exciting to see what the future holds for smartphones and how they will continue to enhance our lives. Definitely. Well, thanks for sharing your thoughts on favorite smartphones. It's always interesting to hear different perspectives and preferences. You are welcome. It was a fun conversation. It's great to have choices when it comes to smartphones, as everyone has different needs and preferences. Absolutely. It's all about finding the right fit for our individual lifestyles. Let's keep enjoying our favorite smartphones and exploring the possibilities they offer. Agreed. Cheers to the wonderful world of smartphones and the convenience they bring to our lives. Topic 4. Film and TV Shows Hey, have you watched any good movies or TV shows lately? Yes, I recently saw a fantastic movie called Inception. The storyline and visual effects were mind-blowing. How about you? Oh, Inception is a classic. I actually started watching a new TV series called Stranger Things, 
it's a thrilling mix of sci-fi and horror set in the 80s. Have you seen it? Yes, I love Stranger Things. The nostalgic vibe and captivating storyline keep me hooked. Are there any other TV shows you're currently enjoying? Definitely. I've been following Game of Thrones. The intricate plot and complex characters make it incredibly compelling. What about you? Any favorite TV shows? I'm a big fan of Friends. The humor and chemistry between the characters never fail to brighten my day. I also enjoy crime dramas like Breaking Bad and True Detective. Friends is a classic sitcom that never gets old. And I completely agree about crime dramas. Breaking Bad is a masterpiece in storytelling. Have you seen any noteworthy movies recently? Yes, I watched The Shawshank Redemption for the first time. It's an incredibly powerful and inspiring film. I highly recommend it. Oh, The Shawshank Redemption is a true gem. It's a must-watch for anyone who appreciates a compelling story. Are there any upcoming movies or TV shows you're excited about? I'm eagerly awaiting the release of the new Marvel movie, Spider-Man, No Way Home. The anticipation is building, especially with the hints of a multiverse storyline. I'm excited about that one too. Marvel always delivers epic superhero movies. On the TV front, I'm looking forward to the next season of Stranger Things. I can't wait to see what supernatural adventures await the characters. Agreed. Stranger Things has captivated audiences worldwide, and each season brings a new level of suspense and intrigue. We'll definitely have to compare notes once the new season is out. Absolutely. It'll be fun to discuss our favorite moments and theories. Well, thanks for sharing your thoughts on movies and TV shows. It's always great to hear recommendations and exchange opinions. You're welcome. It was a pleasure discussing our shared love for movies and TV shows. Let's keep exploring the vast world of entertainment together and uncover new gems along the way. Topic 5. Favorite Food Hey, what's your favorite type of food? I absolutely love Italian cuisine. Pasta, pizza, and gelato are some of my all-time favorites. How about you? Italian food is delicious. I'm a big fan of Mexican cuisine. Tacos, guacamole, and churros are hard to resist. Oh, Mexican food is fantastic. The vibrant flavors and spices always make it a satisfying meal. Are there any specific dishes or flavors that you enjoy the most? I can't resist a good plate of cheesy enchiladas or some spicy salsa. And I have a weak spot for churros dipped in chocolate sauce. What about you? Any favorite Italian dishes? It's hard to choose, but I adore a classic margarita pizza with its fresh tomato and basil flavors. And a well-made plate of spaghetti carbonara always hits the spot. You can't go wrong with a margarita pizza. The simplicity of the ingredients is what makes it so good. And carbonara is just heavenly with its creamy sauce and crispy bacon. Absolutely. Italian food has a way of satisfying both the palate and the soul. Besides Italian and Mexican, are there any other cuisines you enjoy? I'm also a fan of Japanese cuisine. Sushi, 
ramen, and tempura are some of my go-to dishes. The attention to detail and the balance of flavors in Japanese food always impresses me. Japanese cuisine is incredible. I love the artistry in sushi making and the comforting flavors of a warm bowl of ramen. Have you ever tried any other Asian cuisines? Yes, I've had the pleasure of trying Thai and Indian cuisines. The bold flavors and aromatic spices in dishes like pad thai and butter chicken are unforgettable. Oh, I love Thai and Indian food too. The combination of sweet, sour, and spicy flavors in Thai cuisine is delightful. And the rich and diverse flavors in Indian curries are truly amazing. It's fantastic how different cuisines can take us on a culinary adventure. Exploring new flavors and dishes is always a treat. Absolutely. Food has a way of bringing people together and creating unforgettable experiences. It's a wonderful part of our cultural diversity. Well, thanks for sharing your favorite foods and discussing different cuisines. It's always a pleasure to talk about food and discover new dishes to try. You're welcome. It was a fun conversation. Let's continue to enjoy our favorite foods and explore the world of flavors together. Topic 6. Sports Hey, do you enjoy watching or playing any sports? I'm a big fan of basketball. Watching the games and following the NBA is something I really enjoy. How about you? Basketball is exciting. I'm more into soccer myself. The World Cup and top European leagues always have my attention. Soccer has a massive global following. The energy of the fans during the World Cup is electrifying. Do you have a favorite soccer team? Yes, I'm a loyal supporter of Manchester United. The history and passion of the club resonate with me. What about your favorite basketball team? I'm a diehard Lakers fan. Watching legends like Kobe Bryant and now LeBron James play for the team has been incredible. The Lakers have a rich history. Kobe Bryant's impact on the sport was truly remarkable. Apart from basketball and soccer, do you have an interest in any other sports? I also enjoy tennis. The intensity of matches and the rivalry between top players make it captivating. How about you? Tennis is great, especially during major tournaments. I'm also a fan of Formula One racing. The speed and precision of the drivers are impressive. Formula One is an adrenaline-packed sport. The technology behind the cars and the skill of the drivers are truly remarkable. Do you actively play any sports? I enjoy playing recreational soccer with friends. It's a great way to stay active and have fun. What about you? Do you play basketball? Yes, I play basketball in a local league. It's a great way to stay in shape and compete in a friendly environment. That's awesome. Being part of a league adds a whole new level of enjoyment. Do you ever attend live games or sports events? I've been to a couple of NBA games, and the atmosphere in the arena is electric. How about you? Have you watched any live soccer matches? Yes, I've had the chance to attend a few soccer matches, and the energy in the stadium is unlike anything else. The fans' chants and cheers create an unforgettable experience. 
It's amazing how sports can bring people together and create a sense of camaraderie. Well, thanks for sharing your thoughts on sports. It's always fun to discuss our favorite teams and players. You're welcome. Sports are a universal language that connect people across cultures. Let's continue to enjoy the thrill of watching and playing our favorite sports. Absolutely. Cheers to the excitement, camaraderie, and unforgettable moments that sports bring into our lives. Topic 7. Gadgets. Are you into technology and gadgets? Definitely. I'm always excited about the latest tech innovations. How about you? I enjoy keeping up with tech trends too. Have you seen any interesting new gadgets recently? Yes, I came across a smartwatch that can track your sleep patterns and heart rate. It's pretty cool. Have you tried any new gadgets? I recently got a wireless charging pad for my devices. It's so convenient to just place my phone on it and not worry about cables. Do you have a favorite tech brand? I'm a fan of Apple products. The seamless integration between their devices is impressive. What about you? I prefer Android devices for their customization options. By the way, have you heard about the latest developments in artificial intelligence? Yes, AI is making incredible strides. From virtual assistants to self-driving cars, it's shaping the future. It's a fascinating topic to explore. Absolutely. The potential applications of AI are limitless. Well, thanks for sharing your thoughts on technology. It's always interesting to talk about the latest gadgets and innovations. You're welcome. It's a dynamic field, and there's always something new to learn and discuss. Topic 8. Physical Exercise Hi. Are you into physical exercise? Absolutely. I believe in staying active for overall health. How about you? I try to incorporate exercise into my routine as well. What type of physical activities do you enjoy? I'm a fan of running and weightlifting. The combination of cardio and strength training works well for me. What about you? I like doing yoga and going for brisk walks. Yoga helps me stay flexible and relaxed, while walks are a great way to clear my mind. Do you have a specific fitness goal? My main goal is to maintain a healthy weight and build muscle strength. It's important to me to feel fit and energized. How about you? I aim to improve my flexibility through yoga and enhance my endurance with regular walks. It's all about feeling balanced and strong. Do you prefer working out alone or with a partner? I usually work out alone, as it gives me a chance to focus and clear my mind. But occasionally, I enjoy group fitness classes for the social aspect. How about you? I feel the same way. Solo workouts can be meditative, but group classes provide a sense of camaraderie. How do you stay motivated to exercise regularly? Setting specific goals and tracking my progress helps keep me motivated. Also, mixing up my routine prevents boredom. How about you? I find that setting small, achievable goals helps me stay on track. And I reward myself for reaching milestones. Do you have any advice for someone trying to start an exercise routine? 
Start slowly and find activities you genuinely enjoy. Consistency is key, so make exercise a habit, not a chore. And remember, progress takes time. How about you? I agree with your advice. It's important to start at your own pace and gradually increase intensity. Having a workout buddy can also make it more fun and accountable. Thanks for sharing your insights on physical exercise. You're welcome. It's great to talk about the importance of staying active. Let's keep encouraging each other to lead healthy lifestyles through exercise. Absolutely. Here's to staying active, feeling strong, and enjoying the benefits of a fit lifestyle. Topic 9. Happiness Hey, what does happiness mean to you? To me, happiness is a sense of contentment and joy that comes from within. It's appreciating the present moment and finding positivity in everyday life. How about you? I agree with that. Happiness, for me, is about feeling fulfilled and at peace with myself and my surroundings. What are some things that consistently bring you happiness? Spending quality time with loved ones, pursuing my passions, and achieving personal goals are some of the things that never fail to make me happy. How about you? Similar to you, spending time with family and friends is a major source of happiness for me. Engaging in creative activities and helping others also bring me immense joy. Do you think happiness is a constant state or something that comes and goes? I believe happiness can be both. There are moments of intense happiness, but it's also normal for it to ebb and flow. It's important to embrace both the ups and downs. What's your take on it? I agree. Happiness is not a static state, it's a dynamic emotion. Life has its challenges, and experiencing a range of emotions is natural. It's about finding resilience during tough times. Are there any practices or habits you've adopted to cultivate happiness? Practicing gratitude daily and focusing on the positives has been a game-changer for me. Engaging in mindfulness and spending time in nature also contribute to my happiness. How about you? I've found that practicing mindfulness and meditation helps me stay centered. Journaling and reflecting on my accomplishments and moments of joy have been beneficial too. Can external factors influence happiness, or is it mainly an internal state? Both internal and external factors play a role. Internal factors like mindset and attitude shape our perception of events while external factors like relationships and life circumstances can also impact our overall happiness. What do you think? I agree with you. Our mindset and how we interpret events definitely influence our happiness. However, external factors can provide opportunities for joy and growth as well. What's a small thing that never fails to brighten your day? A simple act of kindness from someone, whether it's a smile from a stranger or a thoughtful gesture from a friend, always brings a smile to my face. How about you? I find that listening to my favorite music or enjoying a warm cup of tea can instantly lift my spirits. Little pleasures like these have a way of adding moments of happiness to my day. Thanks for discussing happiness with me. You're welcome. It's been a wonderful conversation. Let's keep seeking and appreciating the moments of happiness that life brings us. Absolutely. 
Here's to finding happiness in the little things and creating a positive and fulfilling journey ahead.